everyone and welcome in. I am Donna from Dinners with Donna. You both guys know Richie, Richard. Um, usually I would be cooking, um, but I've had some scheduling conflicts and some health issues and just minor things come up. Um, so we're doing some Universal Yum subscription box uh, tastings for you guys. And I have a couple of other ones that we're going to do as well um, coming up. So just keep an eye on your notifications for that. Um, but today we're starting with one that's uh, an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this was my holiday Universal Yums box. This is how far behind I am. <laughs> and um, it came in this really cute uh, red. Usually it's a blue box, but because it was the holiday, um, it was red and white this time. And it has like cupcakes and donuts and all kinds of treats on the on the box and they have like several different tiers um, of subscriptions that you can get starting at, at I believe $24.99 um, for uh, a snack box and you get uh, each month is usually a different country but at the holidays you get a sampling of treats from around the world so we're gonna go open the box I'll tell you what's in the box we'll taste what's in the box and let you know what we think so uh, the first thing when we open up the box is we got these really adorable uh, stickers, holiday stickers, and it says this is, one says this is yum, this yum is 100, I give this a 5 out of 10, so this is to rate the treats, so I'm thinking there's a scorecard in there somewhere so we can maybe use these, mm -hmm. and this is our little booklet that's going to tell us everything that's in here, and that's why I know it's from all around the world because it says uh, seasons greetings from everywhere. So the things in here could be from any country around the world. So we'll see what we have. And then um, you go into the booklet and it tells you um, all kinds of things about the treats you got, the holiday traditions, um, trivia, there's games in here. Just a cute little, nice little book. That's a nice little added bonus. Um, and then there's their uh, site, universalyums.com. Not a sponsor, I subscribe to them, so that's how I get these. Um, but yeah, and then there's a Q code, QR code back there if you wanna join. So we'll see, hold on to that in case we need it. And then they have this like menu card every month. You can rate your treats. Now you guys know we've done this before with the um, um, other box I did. So, this one has, well, treats from everywhere. There's, uh, it says there's 10 treats in here, Richard. So, and we're gonna just take a taste of each because if we ate all these things, we would be like elephants and we don't wanna eat that. So, <laughs> so we put our favorites here. We have a Sharpie over there if we wanna mark what we like and what we didn't like. You can just put a check if we liked it or one out of 10 or whatever, or use the stickers, whatever you wanna do. Um, so I guess we will start, um, this looks interesting, um, this is, um, you're looking at it, popcorn. it is popcorn, it is salted egg yolk popcorn, and it's really cute, it's got a little duck on it, and this says it is, well it was packaged in Roseland, New Jersey, but it was made in Taiwan. So this is Taiwanese uh, popcorn, and it's egg yolk, salted egg yolk. So I'm curious to see what that tastes like. Um, I like hard-boiled eggs. I like deviled eggs. I know my my, my little brother Steve does not, um, but I'm, I'm curious to see what it tastes like. Um, but first, the nutrition stats. We've got the whole bag. Now, I would never eat the whole bag, but this whole bag has 220 calories, 18 grams of fat, Wow, there must be something really bad in here because there's 14 grams of saturated fat. Whoa, we're not eating this whole thing, uh-uh. 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, 14 grams of carbohydrate with four grams of fiber. So that would make it 10 net carbs if you're counting carbs. Um, and six grams of sugar. Now sugar with a salted egg yolk, hmm. Well, we're gonna be brave and try this. Let's see what we think. You might need the scissors. Oh wait, nope, nope, I got it. Okay. It smells like popcorn. Mm -hmm. 
Nice big puffy, puffy, puffy kernel. I can taste the sweet. It tastes like, you know what it tastes like? Smart food. Have you ever had that? No. Smart food? Smart food popcorn, the cheddar cheese kind. I think we've had that before in the house. But it tastes like that mixed with kettle corn. I like it. I like it. It's good. But we have to be careful. There's a lot of saturated fat in there. So we'll, we'll have this, but sparingly. A little. And then I stew. There's no MSG in there. Mm. Where does it say that? Well, so oh, well, there it is. Yep, let's see what's in it now that we've started this <laughs> Pandora's box. We've got popped corn. Oh, there you go. Coconut oil. That's where the saturated fat comes in. Um, let's see. Sugar. Salt. Soy lecithin. I think I said that wrong. Uh, dried egg yolks. Maltodextrin. MSG. Disodium inosinate. Inosinate? And things I can't pronounce. Um... <laughs> Yeast extract, dry whole milk, cheese powder. Um, oh, see, I did get the cheese. That's where the cheese came in. Yeah. See, because it did taste like smart food. Okay. So it's like smart food with a kettle corn. I will eat this, but very sparingly, maybe like not even a handful at a time, just because of the nutrition value in here, which is not so great. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like I said, the whole bag will probably get like six to eight servings. <laughs> instead of the one serving when you do it that way and take a few at a time, you know, and not throughout the day either, like a few at a time, maybe like once every few days. What would you give it out of 10? I liked it. I mean, I'd give it a nine out of 10. I, I would eat, if it didn't have such bad nutrition stats, that's why I won't, I won't give it a 10 because it, it could be healthy, a lot healthier. I don't know why they put it in coconut oil. Maybe because that's what they do in Taiwan. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so I'll put that aside for now. Um, let's want to do something uh, sweet or savory. Want to go in order? Oh yeah, I can't. I couldn't tell what the the, the icons are really small. Potato chip. These or these. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go in order of the list, which is helpful. I couldn't see, my eyes are very old. They're 50, Mustard, so. almost 51 years old, so yeah. Okay, and I don't have my bifocals. I've got my contact lens, so if I had my bifocals on, I could see it. But anyhow, moving on. We have Habzovi, I think that's how you say it, potato chips, uh, spicy mustard flavor, and there they are. And I like that there's a clear, uh, there's like clear here. And these are actually the chips inside. You can see those are the chips. Um, let's see where these are from. Um, made in the Czech Republic. So there you have it. Check. Mm -hmm. Check me. So again, this whole bag has 220 calories, um, 14 grams of fat, but it's better because it's only one gram of saturated fat. So that's, that's good. Uh, there's a little bit more carbohydrates in here, 20 grams with two grams of fiber. So that makes it 18 uh, grams of carbohydrates in this one bag, which, which again, I would never eat a whole bag. Um, and then sodium's 190 and two grams of protein. So yay, protein, always looking for good Ways to get your protein in there. And uh, oh, it's got a 10% of your daily value of potassium. So who knew? So, so this is the Habzovi Potato Chips Spicy Mustard Artificially Flavored. Okay. Now I don't know how spicy this is. So do you have a, a beverage in case you need it? I do too. We were smart this time. There you go, sir. Oh, they smell, they smell like salt and vinegar chips. Taste the mustard. Oh. I don't like them. I should send these to Jim more sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, 
gem. These are coming, no, just kidding. Um, yeah, the mustard is like, okay, so here's what I would equate it to. It's not like your French's yellow mustard that you squeeze out of the bottle and have, you know, that flavor. This is like ground mustard powder, mm -hmm. like the spice, and they just put it all over the chips. It's not the most pleasant thing. Um, no. Excuse me. One. I give it a zero. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm Zobie. I, I'm maybe if it was a different flavor, but even as a potato chip, I didn't. Uh, like that flavor. I don't know what oil. Can we see that again? Because I want to know what oil they, they made that with. Grapeseed oil. Grapeseed. Okay, so it's Grape not. Grapeseed. Wait, what? Grapeseed. Grapeseed. That's no. what I said. No G. Oh, rapeseed. Rapeseed? Rape. R A P E C. I've never heard of rapeseed oil. Do they make a typo? I've heard of grapeseed oil. I don't either. But in any event, that's why, because it's not an oil that we are used to um, here in the United States. Like we fry in peanut oil or um, like an, even an avocado oil. I gotta be careful with the avocado. I, I gotta check these because <laughs> I'm allergic to avocado. So if it's made in avocado oil, that would be bad for me. But yeah, coconut oil, we use oils like that, olive oil, but we don't fry in that because it doesn't have a high smoke point. But yeah. Um, never heard of rapeseed oil. Rapeseed is one of the oldest known vegetable oils. Really? And I've never heard of that. Well, that's on me. But I've never, um, never used it. And I don't like the flavor of that. So, did Strawberry you? Strawberry truffle. No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So this should be interesting. This is Bristow's. Oh, this is Bristow's of Devon. We've had stuff from them before. They're a uh, candy maker in uh, the UK. Uh, these are their strawberry, strawberry trifle bonbons. Bonbon. Bonbon. There you go. Every time I say bonbon, I think of Nate's sister, Bonnie. <laughs> um, okay. So this says one package. Again, who would eat this whole thing? There's like a gazillion in here. Um, a whole package is 190 calories. Um, the writing on there is really small. How much fat? Three grams of fat. Three grams of fat. 1.5 saturated. Saturated, okay. Well, it's a bonbon, so what do you 41 mean? grams of carbohydrate. Because it's probably mostly sugar. 41 grams of carbs, probably no fiber. 26 grams of sugar, 26 no grams, yeah. So, I mean, again, not the healthiest of snacks, but we're just gonna try one and not the whole package. Um, I'm also like super difficult. Are they hard? It's like a mint. Looks like a butter mint. I don't know if they're like a hard candy that you suck on. Like strawberry. Mmm, it's like a gummy. Mm -hmm. It's like an airhead. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting like sour. It's good. It's not my favorite. Um, I don't know if that flavor to me is strong. It's just like a, if you told me that was blue raspberry, I would believe you too. Um, it doesn't remind me of a strawberry trifle in any way, shape, or form. It tastes like, to me, like a cherry airhead. Artificial. Mm-hmm. Give it a three. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's very chewy. Um, you know, now if I was a kid, I might think that was, you know, really great, but at my age, I want all natural flavors. If it says strawberry, I want to taste like fresh strawberries. I don't want to taste like strawberry extract or something like that, or essence of strawberry. Or, but um, the packaging was cute, and usually the things from Bristol's have been really good. So that's the first one we've had that we haven't really enjoyed from there. But okay, so you gave it a three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. 
Okay, what's next? Okay, so now we have Truffies and Company popcorn. Uh, these are popcorn truffles. I believe we've had these before in our, I think it was the Valentine's box or something that we did. I can't remember that one we did. It was a big one. Um, that box was huge, remember? Um, again, a whole pack, but this one's smaller, so I can see where you might eat the whole pack of these if they're good. Um, it's 210 calories and let's see. Total fat is 15, that's a lot. Uh, saturated fat is 13, again, oh my goodness with these. And um, only 30 milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. So that makes 15 grams of net carbs, which it equals one carb serving um, if you were to have this in count with carbs. Uh, this is from uh, is this from the UK as well? I can't read it. It's so small. It's way in the bottom. France. It's from France. Okay. So that explains probably the um, butter fat and stuff if, if it's chocolate in there. I did say it's a truffle, so I'm thinking it's chocolate. And that would equate for the saturated fat in there. Did you grab one? Oh. I'm not gonna try anything. So here's what it looks like. It's covered in cocoa. So I'm expecting popcorn in here and I'm expecting chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, plate. Sorry. I got cocoa. cocoa on my fingers. Um, okay. If you like chocolate with a little bit of a crunch in there, and you know how popcorn has that kind of nutty flavor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's like that. Um, I like it. I'm getting a little bit of coffee. Is there coffee in there? I'm getting coffee. Does it say on the front? Not or is it burnt popcorn? <laughs> it could be burnt popcorn. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think? Is that burnt? It's a burnt popcorn. Mm -hmm. Which is giving it like this nutty kind of flavor. And I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bad batch, but that's what I'm tasting. Um, yeah. I like it. Um, yeah, it gives it, it gives it almost like when you add espresso or coffee to chocolate, it amps up the chocolate flavor. So I think that's what the popcorn did there. And I don't know if the overcooking of the popcorn is like a technique that they were going for, but it works. Mm -hmm. um, I give it what, like an eight or nine? I was gonna give it an eight. Yeah, eight. Just because I wouldn't eat a whole thing of those and I wouldn't, I wouldn't like waste my calories on that, I mean, it's not that it's bad by any means. It's very good. But if I'm going to have that much saturated fat, I want it to be something I like totally like would go bonkers over. And that was not it for me. How about you? It's okay. I yeah. Like it. Yeah. Okay. So what's next, Richie? Apple. Ooh, I'm looking forward to these. Okay. So this is Boleche. I don't know how you say it. Uh, Grandma's Apple Pie cookie bites there you go they're cute in the packaging uh these are from the netherlands oh so that yeah my friend hi is uh from high's piano uh he's from the netherlands so i wonder hi is if you've ever had these let me know um yes the apple pie cookie bites uh one pack again is 230 calories so small in there. How much fat? Four to eight grams of fat. Eight grams of fat, four saturated, mm -hmm. four saturated. No cholesterol. No cholesterol. 37 grams of carbs. 30, oh, lots of carbs. So 37, and then how many fibers? One. Oh, only one, so it's minuscule. So it's a lot of carbs in there. I wouldn't eat the whole package. But you get, like, are there a lot in there? 
So there's a lot in there. So if you're gonna have one, you probably have to make one or two grams of carbs. So there's probably what, like at least 30 in there. Oh, there's a lot in there. So if we just each have one. But there's two different kinds in there. Oh, there are two different kinds. There's a like the one that looks like gingerbread, maybe like the pie crust and one's the filling. I don't know, but I'll show you. We we'll guess I will each take two, but there's definitely more than 30 cookies in there. There you go. See, this is a lighter one, which I think is the filling, and this is like I think equates to the crust. Mm-hmm. Darker one's the crust. Well, this one has the crust inside. That one's covered. Hmm. I think some of them are covered in white chocolate. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. The ones with the white chocolate have apple flavor in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the ones that don't are kind of um, almost like a speculus or a uh, ginger, between a speculus and a ginger snap cookie. Um, they're very well complemented to each other. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like them. But again, for the calories and the fat and all that, I would probably not have a whole bag of those. So I would give it an eight just based again on the nutrition facts. I, I mean, I wish they had more healthy options, you know, for snacks that taste good like this, because, you know, for me to give up that much, I want to, I want to have a, a good return. Okay. I gave it a nine. Yeah. Good. I mean, it really did taste like apple pie. I will give it that. It was delicious. Um, but I mean, if I ate that whole thing, can you imagine our sugars would go through the ceiling? Yep. I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't be good. Next is Linzer cake. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one, Richard. Okay, so this is a Linzer cake. I cannot read nor say the name. I think it says La Conde. I can't even read what it says at the top. Sorry guys, my eyes are old. I can't read it. We can't read it. And it's, but it is from Switzerland. Switzerland. And it's a Linzer cake. It says cake, but you know, sometimes cakes are cookies in other places. This is definitely uh, an individual serving size. We're gonna split it, um, which is fine. Because um, there's only 70 calories in here. So we're only gonna be having 35 calories. Go us. Um, and then it's only two and a half grams of fat, one gram of saturated fat, uh, less than five milligrams of cholesterol, 15 milligrams of sodium, and only 12 grams of carbs in this whole thing. So for me, so far, this would, as far as nutrition goes, be my go-to snack. Yes, it is small, but sometimes small things pack a big flavor punch. So. I'm hopeful, I'm really hopeful. So we'll, it's not soft like a cake. Well, it kind of is, more like a cookie. I'm gonna use my knife. Here, I'll give you a plate. And we can just hold on to, oh, you got one? We can hold on to our plates as needed. We'll give you a cross section of Windsor cake. But this definitely has more of a cookie Texture here, I'll give you the clean cut one. Mine kind of work. But the nutrition stats are good. Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It's definitely just a jam filled cookie. It's not a cake or reminiscent of a cake in any way, shape, or form. No, no, no. So I'm guessing if in that part of Europe, maybe a cake equates to what we think of here in the United States as a cookie. Um, as a cookie though, I think it's good. It needed something. Um, the cookie itself was lacking. The filling was great. The filling, is really good. the filling was really good. The jam filling, the cookie itself, needed something um nutrition a um because that would be a great little treat to have with tea or coffee and it's not gonna like wreck your diet for the rest of the day um 
I give it a, yeah, a six because it was, the cookie needs work. And it shouldn't be called a cake if it's a cookie, but I mean, I get why they did yeah. that. So I'm, I'm not gonna fault them for that, but um, definitely not the best cookie I've had. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So, bar. This one's a nougat bar. Okay, now I have high hopes for this. Um, this is Minos Greek Soft Nougat Bar. So I'm guessing this comes from Greece and I'm hoping I'm right. Um, yeah, I'm right. This whole bar, and again, this is not bad. 130 calories in the whole bar. There's no way I'd eat this whole thing. I'd probably get at least four servings out of this, um, three to four servings out of this bar because when I get a snack, I want just a little, you know, taste. I don't need a whole big, you know, like kitchen sink you get from Beaches and Cream or something. I don't need that. I just want a little taste and yeah. So this is 130 calorie. Um, two grams of fat, not bad. Um, 15 milligrams of sodium, 28 grams of carbohydrate because, you know, it's a nougat bar. So of course you're gonna have what? Sugar, so it's all sugar. Um, there's no fiber in here. But, I mean, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> well, see, the, the, I'm, I thought, see, if you flip it over, the, the, it's the opposite of how our labels are. So our nutrition stats are, you get it, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like it has pistachios in it. Mm -hmm. And I like pistachio. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, it's like a wafer. Look guys, it's like a wafer and then there's nuts on it and it's covered in like chocolate. So it cuts you off a piece, which I... Oh, it's just covered in wafers on the end. Maybe so it's not sticky? I don't know. We're gonna get like eight servings with the little, the little teeny, we still have all that left. Mm. I love nougat bars. I grew up eating this kind of stuff. Um, I love it. I can never have enough of these nougat bars. Um, they're so good. Um, being half Syrian and growing up in an American Italian neighborhood, uh, nougat bars were always available with different nuts. We have pistachios or almonds or hazelnuts or all kinds of different kinds in there. And um, I just always loved nougat bars and it just um, brings me back to my childhood. So I, I give this a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy it. And that little bite would satisfy me. So I would probably get at least eight servings out of this more. So not bad. And um, yeah, I like That's it. Good. I really did enjoy that. We'll keep that. Okay, what's next? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are Torres Selecta Sparkling Wine Flavored Premium Potato Chips. These are from I'm gonna get Spain, but let's see. Or maybe France. Spain, just Spain. And in the whole package, again, I don't know where they're getting their serving sizes from. This whole bag, which is gigantic, uh, has 270 calories. Um, there's like tape or something on here, so I can't read, I can't read what it says for the bag and stuff. It's all blurred out. There's like a piece of like packing tape on it or something. I don't know. 29 grams of carbs. carbs. In the whole bag though. See, that's carbs. the thing. When you divide, it sounds like a lot, but when you cut it into serving sizes the way I am, where it takes just a little bit, you can have your little treat and it's not so bad for you. But I'm gonna show you how the the nutrition label is all kind of messed up. So sorry. Yeah, there's a sticker or something on it. That's to tear there. But I'm just gonna use the scissors to make it easier later. Just smells like a potato chip to me. Now we think I think we had potato chips from this company before in our other tasting box we did. And we did it again, it was the potato chip. The, I think it's the oil they, they had fried it in. It really tastes the wine. 
around. <laughs> okay. I'm not, a, Richard and I do not drink alcohol. Um, however, I don't know anyone who is a wine drinker that would probably say that was delicious. Because, because okay, I get it. It's like, you like wine, you like potato chips, smash them together. It's like, no, I like peanut butter, I like tuna fish, do I mash them together? No, yeah. not a good combo. Maybe separately, you know, you have your potato chips and maybe a little glass of wine, <laughs> but I would not put wine in my potato chips I think it's a zero. <laughs> Not a good idea. No, 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 no. That was, and it was very strong. Um, <laughs> I, I need a palate cleanser for that. Mm. Now, if any of you subscribe to Universal Yums like I do, um, and you've tried these treats, let me know in the comments, you know, what you've tried maybe and what was your favorite and what you didn't like. Or if you have it, um, tell me which of these things you'd be curious to try or you think you'd like the best or the least. And um, also I'll be putting the code, um, not the code, but the link, so you can subscribe to Universal Yums if you, if you want to. And again, they're not a sponsor or anything. I'm just a, a loyal subscriber and I, I love their, their boxes. They're a lot of fun, so. Oh, these look fun. Okay, so these are Tonta Scalar, and these look like gummies. Um, it says gelatin, so yeah, gelatin would mean it's a gummy. Um, it says Bubs. I don't know who Bubs is, but this is Bubs <laughs> from the Tonta Scalar Candy Company. And um, I don't know what country this is from, but uh, I'm gonna, I don't know. It sounds German. Nope, it's Swedish. Swedish, okay, this is from Sweden, sorry. It's, it says it's Jolmust, what's a Jolmust? Can you look that up? J-U-L-M-U-S-T. Raspberry and butterscotch flavored gummies. This sounds very scary. <laughs> um, so here you go again. And a serving size is six pieces, so you're gonna get at least five to six servings, probably even more, there's a ton in here, um, per serving, six pieces. 110 calories, no fat, so that's good. 15 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of carbohydrate, but I mean, it's a gummy. What are you gonna do? I expect sugar in a gummy. I mean, that's just like. Jolmost is a soft drink that's mainly consumed in Sweden around Christmas. Oh, so Jolmost, see, I, I, I did not know that. So um, I just learned something. That is a holiday beverage that they consume in Sweden. So Jolmost. So there you go. It's a go. blend of Coca-Cola and root beer. It's a blend of Coca-Cola and root beer. Now who knew? Now see Sam um, is is part Swedish. Um, so she, I've never heard of that. I've heard of Peppa Cocker and Santa Lucia and all of that, but I did not know about Jolmust. I wonder if that's more of a recent thing. <laughs> oh, can we show the picture of it? That's Jolmust, guys. It's actually a thing. Um, so yeah, maybe in one of my boxes, I'll send a can. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have raspberry cream and the Jolmust. Now these are kind of hard, but you're gonna take one of each. This one I, I believe is the Jolmust and butterscotch. And I don't know who Bubs is. I guess he's a character or something in Sweden. Can we look up Bubs? Sweden. See what this one tastes like. Hmm. It's chewy. Mm -hmm. 
very flavorful, very pleasant chew. Not like an unpleasant sticky chew. Oh, I like it. It's very good. Um, it tastes like cola. Root beer. I mean, <laughs> that's what it tastes like, cola and root beer. So now this one, and, and I guess this is like a skull and crossbones. <laughs> Those are the designs. I, th I don't understand that, but um, not very Christmassy. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I guess this is the raspberry and cream one. It just says Bubs is a Swedish candy brand. Oh, so Bubs, well, what the, what's Tom to Scholar? Does that mean the skull? We should look it up. It is a skull. Mm hmm. Crossbones. Mm hmm. Can you look that up? This is fun. A learning thing. Zulmus. Tom to Scholar. I don't know. Maybe he's like a, um, like a Christmas spirit or something. Gives them the candy. Yeah, I don't know if anyone out there knows um, anything about Sweden and Swedish candy and and folklore and all that stuff. Um, talk to Scholar. Um, let us know if you know anything about it in the comments. So, what do you think of the gummies? I like the gummies. Yeah. They're very good gummies. Um, they're not as soft as I would like them. So I'm going to give them an eight out of ten. Um, but it's a very pleasant shoe. It's not like the um, strawberry trifle uh, bonbon things we had that were really, like, those were kind of hard to chew. They're Santa skulls. <laughs> Show them on the- candy. It's Santa skulls. Okay, I don't know why we would want to eat Santa skulls. Maybe they should think of a more festive, <laughs> a more festive design, but I guess that's what they do in Sweden, so. That's what we, we had. We had a uh, gummy skull, Santa skull. Now, now I feel bad. I ate Santa skull. Hmm. I give it an eight. Yeah, eight. That's what I give it to. It's good. It could have been a little bit softer. But the flavor was excellent. Um, the size of the gummy was good. Yeah, good gummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're on the last item of this box, guys. And... Uh, this is Domino's uh, Schulte Gingerbread Fruit Filling and I can't remember what that says. What does that say? Marzipan. Marzipan cream? Okay, now I've heard of Marzipan, but I've never heard of Marzipan. <laughs> In dark chocolate. So there's a lot of these. They're like little petty fours and chocolate covered. Um, three layers of delicious indulgence. Did I say 1886? What? 1884. <laughs> 1884. So wow, they've been doing this a while. So hopefully a company that's been making these that long um, these are, these are good. Now I like gingerbread though. Ho I have high hopes here. Um, 110 calories in two pieces. Um, three grams of fat, one and a half grams of saturated fat. Um, five gram, five milligrams of sodium, 19 grams of carbs, two fiber. So that's 17 net carbs, 14 grams of sugar. And um, one gram of protein. So here you go. And again, I believe this is from Germany, but uh, yep, made in Germany, so it's right there. I got one. I didn't have to ask you for help. <laughs> okay. Oops, mine fell right on my plate. So <laughs> there it is, like a little square fudge cover, it's a little pet of four. Now I'm gonna, mmm. And there's the cross section. You've got Marzipan, which I think it's marzipan, the jelly, the fruit jelly, and then the gingerbread, which is a soft gingerbread cake. 
Um, very good. I don't like that at all. I like it. Now I think, again, this is where my heritage comes into play because I like different spice and fruit and combinations like that. But I could see where you would think it would taste weird. It does taste weird. And um, I like it. Give um, it one. I'd give it a seven. It could have been fresher, but again, that's on me because it's been sitting here <laughs> since cheese. <laughs> so anyhow okay so overall i would give this box what like an eight out of ten yeah that's a overall of life. um and it's a fun thing to do with the family and try a little bit of different things from other places and like we learn things about the jumus and the santa skulls and and i mean it's just fun to learn about different places around the world and what a fun uh, way to do it with your family and friends and sharing in, in food and, and that you guys know that's what I do. I make food because it's my way of showing love for my family and friends and for all of you and um, you know I think this is just so cool. Um, you know you have your hits and misses and some things that are really weird like like that last one on Richard but <laughs> but we all have our own palette. Or the sparkling wine chips. Yeah, we all have our own palettes and, 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 you know, flavor profiles that we like. Some like salt and so salty and some like savory and some like sweet, and, but we're all different. So if you've tried these, let me know and let me know what you think of them. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this, this edition of uh, our Universal Yums tasting for the holiday box. So this one didn't really have a specific country theme. This one had an everywhere theme. It was a global holiday and it was a great global holiday. And, and I think it was a lot of fun to do. So yeah, and I highly recommend trying a subscription box like this Universal Yums. Um, it, it's great. It's like getting a little bit of Christmas every every month and you're like, oh, what's next? Did I get this month? And it's just a lot of fun. So I guess that's it. So until next time, we will see you soon i think we'll, we're going to be doing more vlogs and um i know i'm going live may 28th uh tentatively with um jeff from dessert dream for the bluey cooking stream that's going to be very exciting um and we have some um you know fundraisers and things coming up so we're, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, i've been saying fun a lot i don't know why but <laughs> i'm all things fun i think i'm steve <laughs> But in any event, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch. And I will see you soon. So, bye.